Okay, guys. Good afternoon, and I hope uh, you're all ready for uh, some number crunching today. You should all be very active because uh, what we're going to do today involves a little bit of number crunching. And uh, the only way to learn this is to participate. First of all, is my voice clear to everybody? Is everybody ready? Please answer. Everybody ready? Everybody out there? Yes, Arshit. Good afternoon. Sneha Shriya. Good afternoon. Sindhu. Yes. Good afternoon. Yeah. Shreya. Eshreya. Very nice. Bhagirath. Ruchita. Good afternoon. Sudhanshu. After a long time, we are seeing you today. Hope you are well. All right. Okay. Let's get on with uh, Shreya. Yes. Good afternoon. Sindhu. Good afternoon. Yes. Now let's start off with uh, number series today. What we're going to do is uh, a question which appears in every bit set question paper. Just like uh, comprehension is a staple in bit set English. Number series is something which will always appear. There will be at least one question from number series in Bitsat logical reasoning. So what are we going to do as far as number series is concerned? We will learn by participation. Okay. So the only way to learn number series is to participate. So there is no lecture that I'm going to give. You're going to solve those questions and we're going to discuss these questions. And that is the way to go as far as number series is concerned. So without wasting time, let's start off with what happens in a number series. In number series, what happens is there is a series of numbers and the numbers are present in a particular pattern. Like for example, by adding certain numbers, you will get the, the succeeding numbers. So it could be addition of figures. It could be subtraction. By subtracting a fixed number, you will get the succeeding number. Or it could be division, it could be multiplication, it could be logical transposition. I will explain that as we go along. We will see certain examples all of, the, uh, of all of those kinds. There will be some kind of increase, there will be some kind of a decrease. We will see all of those things today. So let's start off without wasting time. The first example here, we have a series on the screen. Uh, 6, 11, 11. Yeah, so I'm talking about this. 6, 11, 17, 28, and 45. So, could somebody tell me what comes next? Yes, 73 comes next. How, how does 73 come? Shreya, how does it come? 73? 73 comes next. But how does it come? Yes, Kiran Mai, 73 is the answer. Okay, how does it come? So what's happening is, if you look at this series closely, okay, Harshit, yes, Sudan Shu, yes. So what's happening here is, the first uh, number is 6, second number is 11. You add up 6 plus 11, you get the succeeding one, 17. 11 plus 17, you get 28. 17 plus 28, you get 45. 28 plus 45, you get the succeeding number. Succeeding number is therefore 73. Okay, so that is how we go, go about it. So it is addition of the two preceding numbers, you get the succeeding number. Now let's look at the second one. Second one, you have 4, 16, 64, 256. This is a quite a simple one. How do you get the succeeding number? Each number is following a particular pattern and the pattern is that each number is getting multiplied by, what is it getting multiplied by? Yes. What is, yes, Harshit, that's right. It is getting multiplied by four. Yes, Rishita, Sindhu, you're right. Ruchita, that's right. Each number is getting multiplied by four. Four, when you multiply with four, you get 16. Multiply by four, you get 64. Multiply by four, 256. And when you multiply 256 by four, the next digit, next number comes out. And that next number is 1024. Let's go to the next one. The next one is 12, 6, 18, 9, 27. Now that's interesting. So you have an interesting series here. So, so far, 
in one and two, we have seen only one operation. Okay. One operation was you added two numbers, you got a succeeding number in the first case. And in the second case, you multiply each number by four, you get a succeeding number. Now you have a case where there is no apparent pattern, but something out there is there. And let us see what it is. So here is an example of a series where each is subjected to more than one operation. Each number is subjected to more than one operation. How is that? Let us look at it. Shreya is given an answer, but that doesn't look like an answer. Anybody else can venture to give me the answer? Anybody else? Aha, uh -huh. Sindhu. Okay. Shneya Shriya, yes. Yes, you've got the answer. Sudhanshu has got the answer. So how does this happen? First thing is, there are two alternate operations that are going, going by. One operation is, if you see 12 and 6, you can clearly make out that when you divide 12 by 6, uh, 12 by 2, you get 6. If you divide by 2, you get 6. If you divide by 2, yes, Sindhu, you got it right. If you divide by 2, you get 6. But from 6 to 18, what is happening? From 6 to 18, what is happening? You are multiplying by 3. From 6 to 18, you are multiplying by 3. Now, let's, have, let's see if this pattern holds for the next series. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 9 multiplied by 3 is 27. Just concentrate, Shreshta. Shreshta, just concentrate. What I'm trying to do here. Okay. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. All right. Next, 18 again, I divide by 2, I get 9. And I multiply by 3, I get 27. So what is the series? Series is actually divide by 2, you get one number. And then you multiply by 3, you get the following number. So we are having two numbers. So divide by 2 and multiply by 3. So following this logic, what should I get? 27 by 2 is actually 27 by 2. What do you get? 13.5. So the next number is, okay, 13.5 here. The next number is 13.5. The next number is 13.5. So here is a slightly complicated series where you divide by 2 and multiply by 3. Shreya, did you follow that? Shreya, did you get it? Okay, let's go on. Okay, now let's look at this. Let's look at this. Okay, the fourth one. 2, 4, 88, 14, 22. What is the pattern that is being followed here? What is the pattern that is being followed here? It is quite apparent and quite simple. Ashreya, that's right. You got it right. Yes, Rishita, you got it right. Okay. It is quite simple. If you add 2 to 2, you get 4. If you add 4 to 8, uh, 4 to 4, you get 8. And then you add 6 here. So what's happening here? I'm adding 2. Next, I'm adding 4. Next, I'm adding 6. Next, I'm adding 8. So now I have to add 10. So the difference is increasing by 2. The difference is increasing by 2. First, I'm adding 2, then 4, then 6, then 8. The difference is, in, is getting incremented by 2. So if I add 10 to 22, I'm going to get next number. I'm going to get is 32. So the next number that I'm going to get is 32. So here is a case where the difference is also getting incremented by a factor of two. Okay, let's go on. Let's see what happens here. In the fifth case, what's happening in the fifth case? Fifth case, you should be, uh, you should be in a position to find this out very easily. That's right. Uh, that's right, Rishita. You're right. You got it fast. Eshreya, that's right. You got it. So what's happening here? Here is a very simple case. 185 minus 1. Harshit, uh, you made a mistake of 1. All right? 1. You increased it by 1. Okay? Sindhu, yes. Sindhu, you're right. The numbers are getting... Sneha Shreya, you're right. The numbers are getting decreased by 22. 185 minus 22. Yes, Ruchita, you got it right. 97. 185 minus 22 is 163. 163 minus 22 is 141. 
141 minus 22 is 119. Yes, CH Shreya and Kiran Mai and Sindhu, you all got it right. So the next number is 97. Yes, Challa and Shreya, you all got it right. 97, that's good. A lot of participation today. All right, now sixth one. Now sixth one, what are we going to do? What are we going to do as far as the sixth one is concerned? Let's look at the sixth one. Okay, we have 1, 2, 9, 10, 17, 18. Oh, what comes next? Mm -hmm. Ishreya has got it. First of the block. Ishreya has got it. Okay, Sindhu has got it. Shreya, you got to relook at your answer. Shreya, you got to relook at your answer. Ruchita has got it. Rushita has got it. Sneha Shreya has got it. Challa. Challa has got it. Now, who are this Challa is? Challa, what's your name? Bhagirath has got it. Sindhura has got it. Shreshta has got it. Yes. Sindhu, yes, you got it. Sindhu, you got the logic. Now, what's happening here is that actually we can take it as two series. We can take it as two series. Okay. So, 1, 9, 17 is one series and uh, 2, 10, 18 as other series. So, so they are alternating. So you can say that 2, 10, 18 is one series and uh, each of them are getting increment, incremented by 8. And this series, 1, 9, 17 will get added by 8 and then you will get 25. Similarly, uh, the next number after 25 will be 18 plus Eight. So that is how these numbers are. Okay. Lari. Yes, Lari. Okay. Lari. Um, good that you are present today. We miss you in the last, uh, last few classes. I hope you will continue to attend from today onwards. Okay. Six. So six, what are we, uh, what we are doing is we are looking at two alternate series. The other way to look at it is that as Sindhu has pointed out, that you add one to get one number, you add seven to get the other number. So that is another way of looking at it. But here, simple, we look at two alternate series, one series getting incremented by eight, the other series also getting incremented by eight. First is the, uh, one is the starting, num starting number for the first series, two is the starting number for the second series. So that is how you can look at it. Now let's go on to the seventh one, seventh one. How do, we, how do we solve the seventh one? How do we solve the seventh one? Mm -hmm. Shreya? Yes, Shreya, you got it right. Okay. So this is pretty simple. We are talking about Shreshta. Shreshta, you got to look at your answer. Shreshta, you got to look at your answer. Okay. Just, just be careful here. Anaga, good afternoon. Okay. Ruchita has already given the answer. Okay. Challa, uh, Lahari has given the answer. That's right. So, what are we doing here? Here, we are again talking about two series. Two alternate series. Okay. One series is 10, 9, 8. This is one series. 10, 9, 8 is one series. So, it is decrementing by one. It is decrementing incremented by 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. So the next number will be 7. The alternate series is 2, 3, 4, where that series is getting incremented by 1. So 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So a lot of you have got it right. So the next two, number, next two numbers are 7 and 5. So that is how the series will continue. A lot of you have got it right. Fantastic. Let's go on. Let's look at the eighth one. Let's look at the eighth one. How do we answer the eighth one? Let's look at the eighth one. There is no apparent pattern here, but let's try to understand this pattern. Let's try to understand this pattern. We're de dealing with three digit numbers here and let's see what happens. Okay, it doesn't look, it, it's not apparent. Ashray has given some answers, Sindhura has given. 
Okay, an answer, but you got to look at your answer, Sindhura. You're close, but not close enough. Okay. Yes, Sindhu has given the answer, has given the logic. Sindhu has given the logic. Okay, so what is the logic? The logic is, Shreya, we are to wait. Just wait. Just hang on, Shreya. Kiran Mai has got it. Okay, so 805 minus, uh, 805 minus 676 it leads to 129. So what, how are you getting? We are dealing with three numbers here. Okay, 805 minus 676 is 129. Similarly, 676 minus 129 is 547. 676 minus 129 is 547. Yes, Anaga, you got it right. Okay, so 129 minus 547 minus 547 that will be the next number and that next number will be minus 418 the next number will be minus 418 yes Shriya Shriya Sindhura Ruchita yes that's right you all got it Harshit you all got it right minus 418 so here we are looking at that uh, an operation being performed on two digits to get the succeeding digit. So 805 minus 676 is 129. 676 minus 129 is 547. Next number will be 129 minus 547. That will lead to 418. So that is what we have seen in series. So how do you tackle series, sir? So there is no hard and fast rule of uh, solving questions in number series you get this by practice so what you need to do quickly is look at the pattern are we dealing with addition are we dealing with subtraction are we dealing with multiplication are we dealing with division so that is one thing that you should see and you should apply each one of these things to the numbers in the series the second thing that you should do is if that is not giving you any uh, result you should see if there is an alternate series, if there is an alternate series that is going on. So that will also give you some clue as to how you should be looking at the pattern. So addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, these are the most common uh, kind of uh, logic that is followed by paper setters. So what we will do, how are we going to master number series? The only way to master number series is by practice. So we will be doing a lot of questions today and uh, we will be trying to solve those questions and each one of them will lead us to a new way of looking at things. So how do you learn uh, a number series? By participation. Everybody should take a paper and a pencil and participate. That is the only way so don't expect any lecture from me. I'm not going to give any lecture. Lecture is not going to help. You, you learn by participation. So every question I give here, you participate. You see how you have to arrive at the answer. And then I will discuss. And then you will realize if you got it right, good. If you not got it right, you will realize what should be done to get the right answer. So without further wasting of time, let's quickly get on with our exercise so let's do the first one all right so this is the pattern all right uh, 9 15 23 33 this is quite i would say simple so try to do this try to do this this is quite simple yes anaga has got it ashreya has got it kiran mai has got it rushita has got it sneha shreya has got it Ruchita has got it. Very nice. All the girls of the block. Uh, CH Shreya has got it. Lahari has got it. Sudhanshu, good. The first boy. Okay. Where is Bhagirath today? Harshit. Sindhura has got it. Bhagirath, yes, good. Bhagirath. Okay. Harshit. Uh, let's see. This is quite a simple one. What are we trying to do here? Okay. So 15 minus 9, if you see, what are you getting? 15 minus 9 you are getting 6, all right? 23 minus 15, you are getting 8, okay? 33 minus 23, what are you getting? 
10. So what is happening to the difference? The difference is getting incremented by 2. So the next number will get incremented by 12. So the next number will get incremented by 12. And uh, how do you get? 33 plus 12 is equal to 45. And all of you or most of you have got it right. So answer is D. Okay. So that is very simple. This is the simplest of number series questions where the difference between the numbers is getting incremented by 2. Okay. C.H. Shreya, answer, you've already gone to the second one. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at the second one. Let's try to answer the second one. How do you answer the second one? Okay. So a lot of answers I've got. Sneha Shriya has answered. Sindhu has answered. Harshit Varma has answered. Okay. But let us see if you have all got the right answers. Okay. Sudhan Shu has answered. Anaga has answered. Okay. Let's see. How do you get uh, this one? Okay. How do you answer this? Here, clearly, we are looking at two series. We are looking at two series. One series is 12, 14, 16. So the next one after that will be 18. Okay. But we are not bothered about that. We are not bothered about 18 because he is not asking us about that series. He is asking about this series. 8 decremented by 2, it has gone to 6. So 6 will get decremented by 2 and you will get 4. So answer is 4. Okay. And not 18. So don't jump the gun. So look at it carefully and answer. Some of you have given 18 as the answer. 18 is the succeeding digit, succeeding number. So after 4, you get 18. So don't jump the gun. Be a little careful in terms of answering. Okay. Let's go on to the third one. Third one. Okay. So what's happening here? The third one. Okay. Let's see. The third one. 9, 6, 16, 10, 30, 18, etc., etc., etc. Shreya has answered it. Shreya has answered it. Yes, Shreya has answered it. Seems to be right. But let's see. Let's, let's give some time for the others. Everybody has to answer. Ruchita has got it. Kiran Mai has got it, has got an answer. Let's see if they are right. Okay, let's see if they are right. Lahari has got it. Okay, let's see. Uh, Shneya Shriya has got it. Okay, how do you answer this? Bhagirath, Bhagirath, you jumped. You jumped a little bit. Okay, Sindhura has got it. Bhagirath, you'll have to relook at your answer. Sudhanshu has got it. Okay, Shreshta has got it, but may not be right. Shreshta, you'll have to look at your answer. Shreshta, okay. Harshit has got it. Sindhu has got it. Yes, Bhagirath, you got it right now. Okay, now let's see how to do this. Now, what's happening here is again, there are two series which are going on. 9, 16, 30. What's happening there? So 16 minus 9 is 7. Okay. Then 30 minus 16 is 14. All right. So what's happening here is the difference is getting uh, doubled. The difference is getting doubled. So what will you get now? After 30, the next one will be 30 plus 2 into 14. That is equal to 58. So answer is 58 and not 60. Some of you have given 60 as the answer, but it is not the answer. The logic is that there are two alternate series here. The first series that we are bothered about is that uh, the difference is getting doubled by, uh, is getting doubled. So the next number you get by adding 2 into 14 plus 30. So you get 58. The other series, what is happening to the other series? The alternate series is 6, 4, 
6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 2 into 4 is 18. Then you will get 18 plus 2 into the next number. What will be the next number? 18 plus 2 into 8. So the next number will be like that. Okay. So that is why we've got 34. Okay. That is why we've got 34. And after that, again, the series will continue. Okay. So answer is 58. So we have seen a case. We have seen two cases so far of alternate series. So you'll have to be alive to the prospect of finding an alternate series. Okay. Let's go on. Let's go to the fourth one. Let's try to answer the fourth one. Okay. So what's happening here? This is quite simple. This is simple and straightforward. This is simple and straightforward. Okay, Rishita has answered it. T. Rishita has answered it. Shreya has answered it. Sneha Shri has answered it. Oh, you guys, you people are very fast. Fantastic. Okay. Ruchita has answered it. Okay. Ruchita has answered it. Let's give some time to the others. Mm -hmm. Sindhura has answered it. C.H. Shreya has answered it. Very nice. Very nice. Let's give some time for the others. Lari has answered it. Very good. Very good, Lari. That's the way to go. Shay has answered it. Very nice. Sudhanshu, good. He's also given us the logic. Shreshta has answered it. Yes. Bhagirath, where are you? Harshet, where are you? Bhagirath, try it. Harshet, try it. Harshit tried. Shreshta has answered it. Yes. Please try it. Unless you try it, there is no learning. You got to. Kiran Mai has answered it. Very good. Very good, Kiran Mai. You got to try it. Unless you try it, there is no learning. You got it. Bhagirath has got it. Fantastic. Very good, Bhagirath. All right. So now let's see what is happening here. Okay. So 68. And 81, the difference. What is the difference? 81 minus 68. The difference is 13. All right. Okay. Then 96 minus 81. The difference is 15. All right. So there, you are, there itself you see a pattern. The difference is getting incremented by 2. So difference is getting incremented by so the next number you get by adding 15 plus 2. So the next number you get by adding 96 plus 15 plus 2. So you get by 96 plus 17 that is equal to 113. So how do you get the next number after that? 113 plus 17 plus 2 that is 19. So that will lead to 132. So it fits in. So that is how you got 132. So what's happening here? Here is a case of a difference getting incremented by 2. So Sindhu has given the logic very nicely. That is good. Okay. So we've seen a difference getting incremented by 2 here in this particular case. Now let's go on to the fifth one. Let's try to solve the fifth one. Please solve the fifth one. Oh, Rishita has already answered it. Okay. Shreya has answered it. Okay. Shneya Shreya has answered it. Kiran Mai has answered it. Sindhu, CH Shreya, my God. Anaga. People are very fast. Very nice. Good. Okay. Ruchita has answered it. Sindhu has answered it. Okay. Has given the logic. That's very nice. Has given the logic. Lari has answered it. Very good. Sudanshu, Bhagirath, Harshit. Sindhu has answered it. Very good. Okay. Good. Let's give a minute to others. 
Okay, you learn by participation. You only learn by participation. Harshit has answered it. Very nice. Sudhanshu has answered it. Good. All right. So what's happening here? What's happening here? Yes, Sudhanshu has given the logic also. If you see, 5 minus 2 is 3. All right. 9 minus 5 is 4. Okay. That's good. So what's happening clearly, you can see a pattern. And what is the pattern? The difference is getting incremented by 1. So possibly the next number will be 9 plus 5. That's equal to 14. Okay. And let's see if this logic works further. I mean, we should not be satisfied with that. We should see because we have only just two cases before it. We cannot generalize. We'll have to check up whether the logic works further or not. So how do you get the next number? 14 plus 6. Because the difference is getting incremented by 1. 14 plus 6, that's equal to 20. The logic is working perfectly because the number is 20. And then further, let us extend it. 20 plus the next number 7, that's equal to 27. The logic is working here. So obviously, we are on the right track. And therefore, the answer is C. Okay, a lot of you, and in fact, all of you have got it right. That's a very good development. Let's go on to the sixth one. Let's see how to answer the sixth one. Please answer the sixth one. This is also not a very difficult one. Rishita has answered it. Ashray has answered it. Not a very difficult one. Sneha Shri has answered it. Okay. So what's happening here? Harshet has answered it. Very good. C.A. Shreya, Ruchita, Shreshta. Shreshta, you got to look at your answer. Madam, Shreshta, please look at your answer. Okay. Kiranmai, you got it. Sura has got it. Sindhu, yes. Yes, Sindhu. She has given the logic. Good. Sindhu has given the logic. What's the logic? Okay. Let's see if we have this. So, yes, Larry. Larry, you got it wrong. Larry, you got to look at your answer. I think you were in a hurry. Okay. So, you got to be careful. These are all very simple ones. Sreshta has got it. These are all very simple ones. We should not make any silly mistakes. These are all, you know, very, very critical marks that we are going to get. Imagine a silly number series question. You get three marks. And three marks may make the difference between uh, electronics and communication engineering and electrical engineering in bits hyderabad all right so so number series silly number series but we should not make a mistake in uh, the quest in, in in our answering okay so 30 minus 23 what are we looking at seven 23 minus 17 what are we looking at six 17 minus 12, what are we looking at? 5. So clearly we see a pattern there. And the pattern is that the difference is decremented by 1. So the difference is decreasing by 1. So obviously the next number I will get, 12 minus 4 is 8. Krujita, it is 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. Okay. So the next number is eight. So if you see whether we are on the right track or not, if you want to verify the next number you will get by subtracting three from eight. So eight minus three is five. So that is how you get it. So we are on the right track, confirmed. So answer is eight. Some of you have given answer is nine. So nine is not right. Answer is eight. So I hope all of you have got it right. This is very simple. I mean, this is just uh, kindergarten addition and subtraction except that you need to have the presence of mind to answer it right and should not make any silly mistakes okay let's go on let's go on to the seventh question seventh question let's see how you will answer it
10, 18, 34. Yes, Shreya has answered it. Shreya has answered it. Shreya has answered it. Seventh one. Okay. Tara. Okay. Where were you all the while? Good afternoon. Hope you've woken up. Shreya, Shreya has answered it. Harshit has answered it. Sindhu has answered it. Okay. Let's see. Sindhu was on the uh, logic. Okay. Okay. Sudan should be on the logic. Sudan Shu has given the logic. Let us see the logic. Sudan Shu. Okay, let's see how to answer this question. What's happening here is, let us look at the difference. Let's look at the difference. Yes, Tara has given the word. Okay, so. Look at the difference. I, I want you to concentrate on the difference. What is the difference? 18 minus 10. What is the difference? 18 minus 10 is 8. Okay. 34 minus 16. So you can see a pattern that the getting multiplied by 2. So therefore, the next number, how will you get? 34 plus 16 to 16 to 32 plus 34 is equal to 66 is equal to 66. Now just to check whether we are on the right track or not, how will you get the next number? 66 plus 30 into 32 64 plus 66 will give you 130. So the right track as six. Okay, let's go on. Let's go to the eighth one. Eighth one is a very simple one. Let's try to the answer the eighth one. Eighth one is very simple. You will get it very fast. Please answer the eighth one. Eighth one, Rishita has got it. Ashreya has got it. Okay. Okay. Ruchita has got it. Uh, Anaga has got it. Good. CH Shreya has got it. Girls are really very fast. Sindura has got it. Okay. Fast in calculations. Very nice. Okay. What's happening here? What's happening here? Shreshta has answered it. Very nice. Harshita has answered it. Good. Sindhu. Sneha Shriya. Okay. What's happening here? 18 minus 10. 18 minus 10 is how much? 8. 10 minus 6. How much is that? 4. 6 minus 4 is how much? 2. 4 minus 3 is how much? 1. So we see a pattern there. The difference is, uh, uh, what's happening to the difference? Is reducing by a factor of 2. That means if you divide by 2, you get the difference for the next number. So 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2. It's, it is getting halved. The difference is getting halved every subsequent uh, number. So difference is getting half for every subsequent number. So we, we now have 3. So the next number will be 3 minus 1 by 2. That is 1 by 2 is half and therefore we are talking about 2.5. Answer is 2.5. So the next number in the series is 5. That is quite Simple. Let's go on. Let's go on to the next one. So ninth one. Let's try to answer the ninth one. This is also not very difficult. Let's try to do it. Rishita has already answered. Oh, good. 
Shreya has answered. Sneha Shreya has answered. Good. Ninth one. Ruchita has answered. Very good. Shreya has answered. C.H. Shreya has answered. Shreyas. Shreyas Nayak, good afternoon. Long time no see. Sindhu has answered. Harshit has answered. Sindhu has answered. Anaga has answered. Sindhura has answered. My God, everybody has answered. Very nice. Okay, the highlight of today's show is uh, Shreyas Noidu joining us. He's a VVIP. He makes occasional appearances. All right, now let's look at this. Okay, so how do you get this? Okay, ninth question. What's happening to the difference? Okay, so what's happening to the difference? 11 minus 6 is 5. Okay, 18 minus 11. What's happening to that? 7. 27 minus 18, 9. All right, 38 minus 27, 11. So what's happening to the difference? The difference is getting incremented by 2. So the next number you will get by 38 plus 11 is equal to 51. Okay. So that is how you get the answer. And 51 plus uh, the next one is 13. You get 66. All right. So we are on the right track. Answer is uh, therefore 51 okay 38 plus sorry sorry 38 plus 13 okay 38 plus 13 okay uh, thanks Sindhu for correcting me 38 plus 13 is 51 okay Shreyas if you watch on YouTube you miss half the fun unless you participate you will not learn anything so you would have found the difference so if you participate here you can participate in the chat if you participate in zoom you participate in in, in the chat and uh, you get to know, we get to know, all right? So you'll miss the fun if you're not in Zoom. Okay, let's go on to the 10th one. Let's go on to the 10th one. One, eight, 27, just three numbers. One, eight, 27, just three numbers. What are we gonna do? Okay, Shreya has answered, Shreya has answered, Shreya is very fast, all right? Rishita has answered, Shreshta has answered, Ruchita has answered, Tara has answered, very nice. Rishita has answered, oh, 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 oh. They're all cubes, Tara, that's right, Tara. They're all cubes, okay? One cube, two cube, three cube, okay? One cube is equal to one, two cube is equal to eight, three cube is equal to 27, okay? And four cube is equal to 64, you've all got it right. Okay, Sneshriya has got it. Sindhura has got it. Answer is 64. Okay, that was cool. No big deal. Okay, let's go on to the 11th one. Let's go on to the 11th one. Let's go on to the 11th one. 11th one, Rishita has already answered. Okay, Rishita has already answered. 11th one, Eshriya has answered. 11th one, good. Who else? Rushita, Shreya, Ruchita, Anaga, good, Tara, C.H. Shreya, very nice. Shreya's Naidu, Sindhu, Sindhura, Bhagirat, okay. Harshit, Harshit, you gotta look at your answer. Harshit, you made a silly mistake somewhere. Sneha Shreya, you got it. Sudhanshu, got it. Harshit, just go back to your answer. Sindhu, you got it right. Sindhu has given the logic. What's the logic? Logic, if you see the difference, we've done n number of questions of this kind. 10 minus 4 is 6. All right. Then what? 22 minus 10 is 12. All right. 46 minus 22 is 24. What's happening to the difference? The difference is getting doubled. So how do you get the next number? 46 plus 2 into 24. 
46 plus 2 into 24. Yes, Harshit, you got it right now. Harshit, again, you got it wrong. It's not 98. Okay, it's 94. Okay, so this will lead us to 94. So answer is D. Okay, let's go on. 11th one, I hope everything, every, it's clear to everybody. So 12th one, 12th is a very simple and straightforward question. So let's answer the 12th one. Simple, straightforward. Simple and straightforward. 12th one, yes, Rishita, Shreyas, Ruchita, yes, you all got it right. It's simple and straightforward. Sindhu, Sindura, Eshreya, Tara, Shreya, Shreya, Harshit, yes, you got it right. Shreya, yes, Reshta, got it right. Very simple, straightforward. How do you answer this? 5 minus 4 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay, so do we see a logic there? It's getting incremented. It's not getting incremented, it's getting multiplied. Okay, so after that, what do you get? So you get 7. The next, next number you will get by 7 plus 2 into 2 is equal to 11. So the difference is getting doubled. The difference is getting doubled. The difference is getting doubled. So here, how do you get the next one? 11 plus 4 into 2 is equal to 19. So we are on the right track. So 19 is what, it, what is here. So we are on the right track. So answer is 11. Sudanshu, yes. Tara has given a logic. Very good. Okay, let's go on to 13th. Let's go on a 13th question. 13th question. 13th. Okay. Ashreya has answered. Sneha Shreya has answered. Rishita has answered. Okay. This is straightforward. Very, very straightforward. Harshit has answered. But Harshit, you got to look at your answer. Harshit, Harshit, look at your answer. Some silly mistakes you are making. C.H. Shreya has answered. Sindhu has answered. C.H. Shreya, Sindhura, Shreshta. Sindhura, you got to look at your answer, Sindhura. Sindhu has got it. Bhagirath, Anaga. Lahari has gone into a sleep mode. Shreyas, where are you? Okay. Sindhura has answered it. Harshit has answered it. Tara has answered it. Okay. So you can make out... You can make out from Sudhanshu, we got it right. Make out that 8 minus 5 is giving us 3. 12 minus 8 is giving us 4. 17 minus 12 is giving us 5. So what's happening to the difference? The difference is getting incremented by 1. Difference is getting incremented by 1. So how do you get the next number? 23 plus 7. So don't jump the gun, Harshit. Don't be in a hurry. They're all very simple questions. Just apply the logic consistently without making any mistakes. 30. All right? 3-0. As I told you, one simple mistake is going to cost you, say, electronics at Hyderabad and you will land up at electrical. So let's be a little careful. One silly mistake in one silly number series question. Okay, let's go on. 14th one. 14th one. Let's try to answer the 14th one. 14th one. Let's see. Fourteenth, Rishita has answered. Mm -hmm. Let's check that up. I see some silent participants also. I think the silent participants also should participate. Anjali should participate. Bhavana should participate. Okay. So the silent participants also 
let them participate okay 91832 i don't know who that number is 91832 who's that okay yes shreyas has answered it tara has answered it anaga bagirath ruchita has answered it okay let's see anjali and bhavana you got to answer okay a lot of people are answering it that's good that's good so what's happening here this is a slightly complicated series a slightly complicated series shneya shri has answered it slightly complicated okay but not too very complex but slightly more complicated than whatever we have answered so far so how are you going to get these numbers okay how are you going to get these numbers yeah you can look at the options and tell that's right shreyas you're right yes you can look at the answers and tell very simple shreyas is right you can simply look at the options that is what you should be doing sometimes you should be looking at the answers the options here are pretty obvious why are they obvious because you can see that the numbers are increasing whatever be the logic some numbers are increasing whatever be the logic and uh, out of after 1 not 3 what is it that you will get you can't get 1 not 2 because it's a lesser number you can't get 94 because it's a lesser number 1 not 3 is it the same number so the only number which is higher than 1 not 3 in this option among the options is 200 so you can straight away put that as 200 but we may not be as lucky all the time the paper setter may be a little more uh may make it a little more difficult so we need to understand the logic so what is the logic could somebody tell me the logic what is the logic shreyas has given a very simple straightforward answer which is that just look at the options and answer the question okay but sometimes it may not be so obvious we need to look at the logic what is the logic can somebody tell me the logic here okay okay what is the logic what is the logic ah oh, yes sudanshu has given the logic sudanshu has given the logic now what's happening is that how do you get 9 9 is equal to 5 into 2 minus 1 that is how you get 9 if you look at 16 16 is equal to 9 is the preceding digit you take the preceding digit multiply it with 2 and the difference will get incremented so 9 into 2 minus 2 all right how do you get 29 29 is equal to take the oh 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 oh, oh what's happening oh my pen is not working okay okay so here it's not working okay some problem this zoom is so erratic it creates a lot of problems uh oh my page is stuck are or are you able to hear me are you able to hear me my page is stuck are you people able to hear me just answer is my audio okay santosh my page is stuck my page is stuck santosh i am not getting your chat messages too oh okay audio is good good now now i got it back now i got now i got it zoom playing a lot of tricks with me okay all right no issue no issue i got it i got it back yes so so what are we getting here now we are looking at uh 29 29 we are looking at 29 so 29 is equal to 16 into 2 32 Minus three, all right. Then we get fifty-four. 
54 is equal to, all right, 29 into 2 minus 4. So we, that is how we get 103. And the succeeding number, we get 103 into 2 minus 6. That's equal to 200. So that's how we arrived at 200. Okay. And uh, Shreya has given another logic is the difference between the numbers is increased by 3 each time. All right. Okay. So that is also something. If you are trying that, then also. Okay. C.H. Shreya. C.H. Shreya has already jumped to 15th. Okay. We'll come to 15th. So I hope everybody has understood 14th one. 14th one answer is 200. Okay. Let's go on to the 15th one. Okay. 15th. Let's see the answer. 15th. C.H. Shreya seems to have our material already with her. Okay. So 15th one. Let's see the answer. Sneha Shreya has answered it. Anaga has answered it. Very good. Anaga, answer it. Let's see how to get this. Anaga has answered it. Sneashri has answered it. Let's give some time to the others. Lari has answered it. Tara has answered. Bhagirath has answered. Very good. Sindura, Ruchita, very nice. Very nice. Tara has answered. Harshit, where are you? Shreyas has answered it. Shreya has answered it. Ashreya has answered it. Very good. Yes, Tara has also given the logic. Tara has also given the logic. So what's happening? Okay. So if you look at 9, 9 is equal to 4 into 2 plus 1. Okay, that's good. Next, 20 is equal to take the preceding number 9. 9 is the preceding number. Multiply it with 2 and add 2. 43 is equal to 20 into 2 plus 3. So the logic is what you do is just multiply the preceding number by 2 and then there is a difference and which keeps incrementing. By this logic, the next number will be 90 into 2 plus 5 and that is why we have arrived at 185. Okay. And uh, yes, Sindhu has given a logic. Yes. So answer is 185. We've all got it right. So 15th is clear. Let's go on to 16th one. 16th, let's try to answer this question. Shay has answered it already. Okay. 16th is a straightforward question. 16th is a straightforward one. Yes, C. H. Shreya, Harshit, Sindhu, Sindhura. You got to look at your answer, Sindhura. Ruchita has got it. Shreshta has got it. Yes, Shreshta has got it. Sudhanshu has got it. Lari has got it. Sindhura, good. Sindhura, good. You got it. So what's happening to the difference here? Okay. So yes, Bhagirath, you got it. So 12 minus 6 is 6, all right? 21 minus 12 is 9, good. 33 minus 21 is, oh, I got stuck. 33 minus 21 is 9. Uh, 33 minus 21 is 12. So what's happening is the difference is, as Shreyas has pointed out, multiples of three, multiples of three. So then succeeding number, how do you get? 33 plus 15, 33 plus 15, because the differences so far, nine, 12, 
the difference will be 15. So 33 plus the next multiple of 3. 33 plus the next multiple of 3 is 15. So you get 48 is the answer. So answer is 48. Again, my screen is stuck, I hope. Is my audio clear? Is my, is my audio clear? Okay, okay, so good. So answer is 48. Let's go on to the 17th one. Let's go on to the 17th one. Yes, Sin next one, 17th. 17th, Rishishna has already answered. Ashray has answered. Shneashriya has answered. 17th is a rather simple, straightforward one. So let's not waste too much time on this. 17th is straightforward. The difference is 20 minus 15 is 5, 30 minus 20 is 10, 45 minus 30 is 15. Anaga has answered, everybody has answered, okay? This is simple and straightforward. So the next one is, the difference is getting incremented by 5, all right? So 45 plus 20, that is equal to, 65. So answer is C. All right. Shreshta has answered it. Very nice. Yes, that's straightforward. Let's go on to the 18th one. Let's go on to the 18th one. 18th one. This is also simple and for 18th, Rishita has already answered it. Anaga has answered it. Sneshri has answered it. Okay. Ashray has answered it. Sudhanshu has answered it, but the logic doesn't seem to be good. The logic is not correct, Sudhanshu. Ruchita is okay, correct. Shreya has answered it. Sindhu has answered it. Lari has answered it, good. So what's happening here? Shreya has answered it. Sindhu has answered it. So what's happening here? So 30 minus 18 is 12. 48 minus 30 is uh, 18. 72 minus 48, 24. So is getting incremented by 6. All right. So the next number, 72 plus 30. The next number you get because the difference will get incremented by 6. So the next number is 102. Harshit has got it right. Very good, Harshit. All right. So answer is 102. Let's go on to the 19th one. Let's go on to the 19th one. Mm -hmm. 19th, Rishita has answered it. She is very fast. Anaga has answered it. Rishita, what is the logic, Rishita? Can you give me the logic? Rishita, can you give me the logic? Uh-huh. Okay. Good. Very nice. Rishita has given the logic. It's slightly difficult to get. Not easy. It's not easy. Let's see if the others get it. Yeah, Rishita, you got it. Let's see if we can, somebody else, others can answer it. Let's give them some time. Tara has got it. Good, Tara. Shreyas has got it.
Sudanshu, Eshreya, Sihachreya. Yes. Hmm. Sindura. Sindura, you got to look at your answers. Sindura. It doesn't seem to be okay. Sindura, your answer, you got to look at it. What about Bhagirath? What about Lahari? What about Harshit? Let's see your answers. Let's see your answers. It's not, it's not so obvious. It's not so obvious. Now let's see. Let's see how to do this. Yes. So if you see 3 into 3 minus 1 is equal to 8. All right, then 8 into 3 minus 2 is equal to 22. 22 into 3, 66 minus 3 is equal to 63. 63 into 3 minus 4. All right, so we're talking about 249. Uh, sorry. Um, 189, 189 minus 4 is 185. Now, how do you get the next number? 185 into 3 minus 5. 185 into 3 minus 5. 185 into 3 is 555. 555 minus 5 is 550. So answer for 19th is D. It's slightly involved. I can understand. You may not get it easily. All right. But there is a possibility that you can have a series where you need to think out of the box. Let's go on. Let's go on and look at the last question in this exercise, which is the 20th question. Yes, this is quite simple and straightforward. You should be able to answer it very fast. Yes, Vishita has answered it. Okay, so let's see if anybody else can answer it. Shreyas has answered it. Okay. What about the rest? It's not so very difficult to answer this question. Yes, Sindhura. Yes, Neha Shreya. Yes, you got it. Tara, yes. Good. Ruchita, yes. Ashreya, yes. Sindhu, yes. See Shreya, yeah, you got it. Everybody has got it. Now, this is very simple and straightforward. Lahari, yes. Sudan, Shu, yes. Simple and straightforward. What's happening here? If you, look, if you see the difference, 32 minus 12 is how much? 32 minus 12 is 20. 72 minus 32 is 40. 152 minus 72 is 80. So what's happening to the difference? The difference is getting doubled. All right, the difference is getting doubled. So how do you get the next number? 152 plus 2 into 80, 160. So 152 plus the next number, 152 plus 80 into 2. Okay. 160 plus 152, you get 312. That's how you get the answer. So, so far we've seen the number series and uh, you've seen 20 different kinds of number series. So what all you need to do is look at the difference first and look at the operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. All right. Sometimes squares, sometimes cubes. So it will not go beyond that. So this is what you have to do. You should also be conscious of two alternate series. So there may be two alternate series that are going. So you got to look at that. So this is common. These are the common techniques that one, one should follow. And uh, every other part test and grant test, we will also have number series. Okay. Let's quickly look at uh, another type of questions which involves series. And that is to pick the odd one out. We have seen in English questions um, where we were supposed to pick the odd word out. Similarly, here, the numbers follow a particular 
uh, pattern and there may be one number which doesn't follow the pattern and we have to find out that particular number. So let's look at say for example 21 and uh, it is so obvious here that all the numbers in the 21st question all the numbers are even numbers 8, 4, 16, 10. 17 is the odd one sticking out like a sore thumb. What is happening to 17? 17, 17 uh, uh, seven, uh, 8, 4, 16, 10 are even and 17 is an odd number. So answer is 17. So it's very obvious and we could get it straight away. Let us look at 22. Let's look at 22. 22. What's happening here? 22, Sudhanshu, you got it right. Yes, Rishita, you got it right. Sindhu. So it's very simple here. 22. Harshit, you got it right. We are looking at multiples of 3. Anaga, yes. Neshriya, yes. We are looking at multiples of 3. And uh, 19 is not a multiple of 3. Okay. So answer is therefore D. All right. Let's go on. 23. 23. 23. What's happening? 23. Rishita has already answered it. So what is the logic? Could somebody tell me the logic here, please? Straight away. Yeah, this is every other yes we are talking about multiples of 10 and 365 is not a multiple of 10 and therefore answer is 365 that's simple and straightforward let's go on 24th 24th ah this is slightly different let's see if you can answer this 24 sindhu has answered it but let's see if that is right. Sindhu has answered, but let's see. Ashreya has answered it. Shreya, what's the logic? What's the logic, Shreya? Harshit has answered it, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. Okay. Uh, okay. In a way, Harshit and Sindhu are also right. Uh, the paper setter has ignored. Uh, has ignored one possibility both of them can argue that all the others are five digit numbers whereas uh, 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 five digit numbers whereas uh, 5183 is a four digit number on that count 5183 can be an answer 5183 is an answer on that basis but actually the what the paper setter had in mind is slightly different and that difference some of you have got it and uh, which is that uh, which is that okay 5183 is not among the options oh sorry i have not looked at that 5183 is not among the options so you can't say 5183 is the answer 5183 is not among the options so you can't give that as an answer all right so what is the logic therefore sudhanshu sudhanshu you did not get it right so here if you see if you add up the digits in the number, 5 plus 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 3, the digits add up to 17. The digits add up to 17. If you look at 5 plus 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 3, or you look at 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1, or whatever it is, or in all cases, the digits add up to 17, except in D. In D, what's happening is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 4 is 14 plus 2 is 16. This is adding up to 16. The digits are adding up to 16. And therefore, this is the odd one. Okay. Harshit, have you got it now? Okay. Good. You got it. Right. Let's go on. 25th. 25th. What's the answer? 25th. 25th. Yes. Ashley has got it. Ashray has got it. What about the rest? Sindhura has got it. Sindhu has got it. Yes. 
Uh, Ashreya, okay, are you looking at that? Okay, I have a different logic. Okay. Yes, Ashreya, the digits add up to nine. Also, except 325, all the others are multiples of three. Except 325, all the others are multiples of three. Also, all the others add up to nine. So answer is 325. Yes, Ruchita, you got it. Now let's look at the next one. 26th. Okay, 26th. 26th. Yes. D. Yeah. Ashreya has answered. Anaga has answered. Rishita, Sindhu, Shneshreya. This is quite simple. Every other number is a multiple of 7 except 36. Okay, except 36. A lot of people have answered. Tara has answered. Sudhanshu has answered. Sindhu has answered. Kiranmay has answered. Very good. Except uh, 36, all the others are a multiple of 7. So, answer is 36. So, that's, that's good. Not 27. Now you've already got one of this kind. So you can answer the 27th one coolly without any difficulty. 27th, what is the answer? Yes. Somehow the, this paper setter is biased towards D. Most of the answers are D. That is one clue. Okay. So if you see, what is the logic here? What is the logic here in 27? What's the logic? What's the logic in 27? Yes, Rishita, Sindhu, Chita. You all got it right. Yes, you add up. It adds up to 24. It adds up to 24, except in... Except in... It adds up to... 24. So answer is D. Let's go on. We are running out of time. 28th. 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 Okay. 28th. Twenty eight. what's the answer? Rishita has already got the answer. Okay. So there is a very silly logic here and the logic is that no number is repeated in no digit is repeated in any of the numbers except in 7355. 7355, 5 is repeated. So therefore, answer is D. Okay, let's go on. 29. 29. 29 is simple. 29, can you answer? 29. What's the logic in 29? Yes, Rishita, you got it. Sindhura. Sindhura. Your answer is not correct. Sindhu, yes. What's the logic? In all the numbers, the digits, some digit, some digits are repeating. In all the numbers, some digits are repeating. In 3579, nothing is repeating. So answer is 3579. In 35355 is repeating. 75955 is repeating. 955 is repeating. 7397 is repeating. In 3579, nothing is repeating. So answer is D. Let's look at 30. Let's look at 30. This is simple and straightforward. Can you answer this? Yes, Tara, I agree. So that is one way of answering the questions. Yeah. Answer is blindly, we can say by logic. All answers seem to be D. Here also it could be D. But let's look at the logic. The logic is all the numbers are multiples of 7 except 97. 97 is not a multiple of 7. All the others are multiple of 7. Let's look at 31. Let's look at 31. 31. 31. Thirty-one. Who's going to answer thirty-one? Yes, Sudanshu. Good. Ashreya. Vita. 
Sneha Shriya. Good. Anaga. Very nice. Sindura. Yes. Very nice. Rishita. Yes, Tara. What's happening is, in all the cases, in all the cases, the numbers are, the, the, the digits you see, they are descending. They are descending. All right? They are all in descending order. They are all in descending order. 98765, descending. 98756 is not descending. 7 to 5, it is descending, but 5 to 7, it is descending. So, the answer is this one. In all the other cases, they are descending. Okay, let's go on. Let's look at 32. Let's look at 32. Shreya, Sudanshu, Sneha Shreya. Sneha Shreya has given a different answer. You got to look at your answer. Shreshta, yes, after a long time. Sindhu, yes. Ruchita, yes. Tara, Kiranmai, Rishit. Kiranmai and Rishita, you got to look at your answers. What is the logic? Could somebody give me the logic? Sindhura, yes. Rishita, you got, you, you got it wrong. Sneha Shreya, yes. What's the logic? Tara. Tara, what's the logic? Uh-huh. Why? Why, Ruchita? Why? Sindhu gives some logic. But what is it? Tara. What about Harshit? What about Bhagat? What about uh, Anshu? Where are you people? Okay. This group is uh, very biased in favor of girls. Okay. Four is missing. Haha. <laughs> Sudanshu. Okay. Now, it's like this. Very simple. Uh, no, Shreshta. There is what is known as a palindrome. Have you ever come across a palindrome? It could be a letter series. It could also be numbers. What's a palindrome? A palindrome is a series of letters or numbers where if you write backwards also, you get the same number or the same word. If you write backwards also, you get the same number or the same word. All right. So that is called a palindrome. So, all here are palindromes except, except 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 2, 1. So, if you write it backwards, it will be 1, 2, 3, 5, 4. So, it is not a palindrome. All the others are palindromes. Please remember, a palindrome is a number series or a letter series where if you write it in a reverse direction, you get the original number or the original word. All right. Okay. So that is a palindrome. All the numbers are palindromes here except C. Okay. Let's go on to 33. 33. 34 is simple and straightforward. Please answer it quickly. 34 is simple, straightforward. What's the answer? Yes, 7. Because, because all the others are multiples of 3. Yes, Kiran Mai, Sudhanshu, you all got it right. Shreshta, you got it right. Sneha Shreya, yes, you got it right. So, all the others are multiples of, multiples of 3. 7 is the odd one. 
in the series that is given. Let's look at 35. Let's look at 35. Okay. Let's look at 35. Yes. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people. Tara, Sindhu, Kiranmai, Sindhura. Yes. Apart from that being multiples of seven, is there something else that is different? So, something else that is different? Yeah, okay, that is quite obvious that uh, all the numbers are multiples of seven. Yeah, except 41. Therefore, 41 is the answer. 41 is the answer. But also, you see, 41 is a prime number. All the others are non primes. 41 is a prime number. All the others are non primes. So, 41 also. That way also, 41 is the answer. So what we have seen today, uh, today we have seen uh, questions based on numbers. First, we looked at number series. We looked at certain techniques. We looked at, uh, you know, multiplication, addition, subtraction, division. We looked at uh, series involving alternating series. Okay. So you got to be alive to all of these things. All right. And the only thing that you have to avoid in series, in number series, is silly, silly, silly mistakes. Most of the questions are simple and straightforward. We've done sufficient number of questions. We'll give you an idea as to how you should proceed. The only thing that you have to avoid is silly mistakes. And the second kind of question that we've seen is the odd one out, where the numbers don't follow a pattern. All the numbers follow a pattern except one number. We'll have to find out the odd one out. And we've seen today that all of them are not so very difficult. So if you see, logical reasoning is not very difficult. Okay? You just need to get exposed to the questions. So that is what you have to do. I hope all of you have got the material for logical scene. Uh, logical reasoning. If uh, if you have not got, then you'll have to send it to Anji. Anji will uh, send a WhatsApp to Anji and Anji will send you the uh, material for logical reasoning. I hope you're also working on maths, physics, chemistry. They are also important. We've got sufficient time for bits and, and bits is a very good option. Uh, bits Pilani is at par with some of the IITs. So uh, very nice chance of uh, getting into bits provided you get your act together in the next uh, one, one and a half month. All right. So on that note, we will close the class today and we'll meet again day after tomorrow. Santosh, you can close the show.